So the number seven quarterback in the country has officially whittled down his top seven finalists of schools down to Ohio State, Miami, Texas A&M, Clemson, Arkansas, Oregon, and Alabama. Now, Aaron Nolan is a 6'3", 195 pound lefty quarterback who plays for Langston Hughes High School, which set the record for having the most points ever in a season with 792 points. In Nolan's junior year, he threw for 4,095 yards for 55 touchdowns and led his team to a perfect 15-0 record and a state championship win. Now, Aaron Nolan is a super smooth and compact thrower of the football. Again, every time that there's a lefty quarterback, the ball always looks a little bit different coming off their hands, but obviously the easiest comparison is Tua, but I genuinely do believe that his throwing mechanics are very similar to Tua's. He's very compact, has a very short throwing motion, and the ball just effortlessly cuts through the air. Now, Aaron Nolan will be committed on April 8th, so if, if any of the teams that I've listed off, if they're your favorite team, you are going to want to be paying attention on April 8th because that is when he's going to be choosing out of those seven schools where he is going to be attending. Now, here's what Aaron Nolan had to say about his recruiting process and what he is looking for in a school. He said, a great head coach can help me excel and develop as a man on and off the field. I also see if me and the head coach and offensive coordinator have a great connection with each other. The people and resources on campus. When I say that, I mean the coaching staff, recruiting staff, the players, the alumni, and even the students on campus that don't play any sports. Getting a good degree is very important and crucial to have in my opinion. School, getting a good education education is just as important as football, if not more important. Comfortability, around the head coach and offensive coordinator especially, the other coaches involved as well, even around the players and around the recruiting staff. The offensive system the school runs. Fitting an offense makes the offense, offensive coaches and players job easier. Now, Aaron Nolan has already taken a visit to Arkansas, Clemson, and Miami, and he has a scheduled visit with Ohio State this upcoming weekend. And earlier on in the year, he already took a visit to Texas A&M and Alabama. Now, taking a look at the finalists that Aaron Nolan has on his roster, I think that one name that we're very easily able to remove is going to be Alabama. They already have Julian Say in there. Now, personally, I believe that Aaron Nolan is a better quarterback than Julian Sain, but obviously Julian Sain went there early. He committed early. Alabama wouldn't have let him commit that early if they were not 100% sold on him. So I believe that Alabama is a team that we can remove from that list. Now, Texas A&M did have three-star quarterback Anthony Maddox, who is also a lefty, commit to the school. Now, Aaron Nolan, I do believe, is a better overall prospect. However, I do think that Texas A&M will end up sticking with Anthony Maddox overall. So I think that's another team that we can remove from Aaron Nolan's overall list. So that's going to leave us with Ohio State, Clemson, Oregon, Arkansas, and Miami. Now, I think the two front runners for Aaron Nolan are going to be either Ohio State or Clemson. I think that with Ohio State losing Dylan Rayola's commitment, I do believe that they are going to be very eagerly on the hunt to lock down another top quarterback in this class. They had the number one guy locked up. So I don't know if they were already having recruiting talks with Aaron Nolan before that decommitment or after, but I do believe they're going to be trying to lock down a top tier quarterback very quickly. So I believe that Aaron Nolan is going to be at the top of their list as the same thing with Clemson. Clemson already has their quarterback of the future in Cade Klubnik. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're not super eager to lock down a quarterback because they already have a young guy that is poised to lead them for a little while. So Oregon also has another guy in Austin Novosad. He's not Dante Moore, which they did have locked up earlier before he ended up flipping to UCLA on signing day. So I think Oregon's another team in the mix. Arkansas is just kind of, Arkansas doesn't really fit in with all the other teams that we've been looking at. I think that Arkansas is kind of the outlier. Maybe they've just had some good little meetings or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So I would say out of all the teams, in my opinion, the teams that have the best chance of landing him are either going to be Ohio State or Miami. And I think that of those two teams, Ohio State is going to be the team that does end up landing Aaron Nolan. But I wanna hear from y'all, comment down below. We have a couple of days before Aaron Nolan makes his final decision. My bet is going to be on him going to the Ohio State Buckeyes. But I wanna hear from y'all, comment down below. Out of the seven teams that Aaron Nolan has named off as his finalists, where do you guys think that he will end up landing? Aaron Nolan is a 
phenomenal throw of the football and he can really develop into being a great quarterback just put into the right system like he said he got he has to fit in with the offensive coordinator the head coach the overall system i think that a team like ohio state is going to do him just well but i want to hear from y'all comment that down below leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the five videos that we drop on the channel i love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video chat